Okay, the next section we're going to talk about are matrices. Uh, that's the plural for a matrix. The matrix um, is basically a rectangular array, a convenient way to track information in rows and in columns. And um, so, come on, next slide. Whoops, there we go. There we go. All right. Uh, so when we talk about a matrix, um, they're very useful for keeping track of information, um, organizing data, uh, and sorts of things. Uh, but in terms of mathematics, um, we have, uh, when we talk about a matrix, uh, we talk about its dimension, we want to know its size. And when we talk about the size of a matrix, we always list the number of rows first and then the number of columns. Uh, for example, the matrix A here uh, has two rows rows go across this way and then three columns uh, so we would call this a two by three matrix uh, when we when we lay out the size of the matrix um, we usually write it down here in the lower corner um, and it's always rows first and then columns uh, matrix B is the rows uh, would be a one by th uh, whoops no a three by one three rows, one column, right? Three different rows and one column. Columns go up and down. If you think about a building, uh, you know, with big columns in front of it, uh, the Greek Parthenon or something like that has columns. Columns go up and down. Uh, rows go left and right. So um, columns are up and down. Columns first and rows second. So the next one or has, whoops, rows first. Has three rows. Three rows. One, two, three rows going across and three columns. So it's a three by three matrix. This is a square matrix. Any matrix that's square has the same number of rows and columns. Our usual notation for matrices are to use a um, large uh, capital letter like A, B, or C, or X, or Y, or Z, but it's, you'll typically be an uppercase letter in there. Um, and then when we want to refer to uh, an element, say, within a, a matrix will use a lowercase number. Like if I talk about A12, um, and sometimes you kind of have to, have to, you know, hopefully you won't have a really big matrix with 12 columns or 12 rows, but uh, one is, the, again, the first is the number of row, and then the two is the, the column. So A12 with a little a is referring to the matrix A, and you're looking at the item in the first row, second column. So A12 would be this element, would be just the five there. And if I talk about A13, uh, that would be the two. It's in the first row, third column. And uh, A22 would be the number three. It's in the second row, first column. And B31, uh, uh, would be third row, first column. That would be the seven. I'm looking down here in the B matrix. It'd be the third row and then the first column. And uh, so if you want to recreate the whole matrix B, B11 is equal to one, B21 is equal to four, and B31 is equal to seven. So we could list out that, that matrix just by listing its number of terms. Uh, or we put it in the big square brackets and, and write it out sort of uh, dimensionally. But if you want to refer to individual values, you look at uh, what's in the row and what's in the column. Uh, so if we're looking at the negative 1, uh, it is in, where's the negative 1 in the matrix C? Negative 1 in the matrix C is in this spot here, which would be C22. Uh, lowercase c. Let me make it kind of cursive, so because lowercase c's and uppercase c's look a lot alike. Um, and then the four is in c three three, and the zero is in c one uh, three. No, three one, three one. C three one. First row, third, third row, first column. The zero is in three one. Uh, is in C31. That's where that is. Do I have an eraser? Do an eraser. Let's erase that. There we go. C31 in there. So 
Uh, the size of the matrix, again, we always list the rows, then the columns uh, when we're talking about the size of the matrix. And then if we want to refer to individual values in there, um, we, we again do the rows first and then the columns. B31 is the thing that's in the third row, first column. So that would be the seven there. All right. All right, pretty straightforward so far.